Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This is for the week ending August 15th of 2021. This trade happened on Monday the 9th. The stock was Square SQ. This is based on a 60 minute DTS buy setup with an entry on a one minute shakeout B the tail that happened to be right at the 9.35 reversal time. All was a favorite. The management was simple and reward to risk about 3.1 to 1. As always, I like to pick trades for these Trade of the Week videos that are either unique or show some concept or just simply a favor to mine, whatever it was. It was tough this week because I was torn from a few different things. So let me just mention a couple of the others. If you look at MDT on Thursday, I almost picked that because it was just a beautiful setup. I typically send out a watch list to the trading room members the night before or early that morning. And I rarely put an absolute favorite on there because a lot can change by the time the market opens. But MDT was listed as a favorite of the day, just a beautiful setup taken right on schedule, right on cue, just a, a very nice entry. And LUMN on Wednesday was also just a beautiful example of a very basic technical analysis concept. You didn't need any superior understanding to figure that one out. The daily chart had put in a bottom and I caught the move that day, so it was very nice also. This one I ended up going to square because it was a nice trade, but also it kind of reflects something that I teach a lot, and that is to always keep an eye on what's going on in the marketplace and what is the primary area of focus is it can change from day to day. And I don't mean bullish or bearish bias. That, of course, is always part of what we do. But there are times where the market is in a narrow range or it's a wide expanding range or there are stocks that once they begin moving, they're kind of momentum type things. And that's what Square was. It just started to get bought and I caught it the right morning at the right time. We'll take a look at the charts here in just a second. Just a quick reminder of the free stuff coming up at DTS this week. The only thing going on this week will be Saturday Coffee with Paul, Coffee at DTS, it's been called both. It's the same thing. Nine o'clock, we get together kind of informal. I typically don't do any topic or any big presentation. I usually come up with a few ideas that morning while I'm waiting for you guys, but kind of a fun, informal time. Usually done 9.45 with the latest so we can get on with our Saturday. They've been very popular. Come on by and check it out Saturday. You will get invites if you're a DTS member. If you're not a DTS member, be sure to get over to the homepage of DTS and figure out how you become a member for free. No credit card needed. Don't even need a real name. Just hop on over there. That reminds me this week, I spilled my coffee a little bit. Second time in uh, two decades, and I spilled my coffee. Just a minor incident. Didn't do any damage. So get one of those coffee cups that don't spill like that one did. Daily chart of square before the day of the trade. And of course, what we're reacting to here are these, these bullish wide range bars that are happening. They are not, I think, good to take a necessarily a long position as a swing or long term position because we're getting at the end of a pretty long run. But for day trading pops, these are very good. This is what the setup looked like the day before. The daily chart was OK. It certainly OKed the trade. And this is what it's going to look like. We open right there and then we put it in a decent green bar that day. This is what it looked like on the hourly chart, which is really my focus. It was a two day pullback after that really strong move up here. Also having to digest this move through here. So it was that chart that really caught my eye, put on the watches for the next morning. Entry either way, strength or weakness. And we happen to get a nice little morning shakeout, fell down, got the entry down in there. And it was a perfect entry on this entry right in that tail down there. We'll see it a little better on the five minute chart here. You can see we opened right in that area there and then boom, boom. The opening five minute bar toward the bottom there got long over 272, stop under 269.50. Immediate pop, uh, first target up there, 276.40. And while I didn't really want to take a target that quick, that really was an ultimate goal for me up there at 278.84 was target two. Last third to be held to the end of the day. But again, we got a pretty nice move in there, 284.24, trailed it out. It was a good idea. And note also on this hourly chart, I just want to point out, this stock was not held like in a carry list for the next day because it just didn't make that new high. It topped out here. So it was great for the day. It may come back on the list at some point when I see it in the future, but it was not something that was still on the list for the next day because it was starting to kind of top out and roll over. One minute chart gives you a little better view of the entry and the first couple targets. There's the open. Stock ran up and then fell over. Grabbed it on the way down there. Target one was it ran into some resistance from yesterday. Target two is it just kind of topped out on a trail stop. And then target three, of course, is off this chart because it was taken sometime around two o'clock in the afternoon. If you like trades like this, come join us in the DTS trading room. If you're at that DTS homepage, click on the trading room dash letters page and you can find out how to become a member of the DTS trading room. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.